So these tra tripod stands actually work better if you um, have like a little wash pan instead of a, you know, a bucket, but the bucket works too, as you can see. But it's a nice addition to uh, a permanent camp. This is, uh, you know, I don't know if you've watched some other videos, but this is the one that I normally come to. But I mean, we'll make one of these forever. And um, it's really hot and humid today, so I figured today would be the day. Guys, I thought I'd just give you a quick tour around my camp. Um, it's about a mile, mile and a half walking in. Um, there's a creek that comes down here and it splits and goes this way and this way. And it makes this island out here all the way. So you got the creek that runs through here and then on the back of it. And then they join together, uh, together again about 50 yards that way um it's a great little camp though that's uh water is very clean and that's normally where i gather my water and it's actually it's, it's pretty big it's bigger than it looks on the camera i'm starting to wear a little trail through here though and i don't like that because i there's not a lot of people i've only ever seen one person out here in all the years I've been coming out here, uh, he was a hunter. He was passing through. I don't even think he ever had the idea to set a camp here. So, come into camp. This is normally hidden very well, but I've been working on it today. I've uncovered it some. I'm going to disperse the rocks because I really don't even like having them there but usually at night we have a nice fire here and we got this log to lean back on we put our cushions here and relax now I'm a creature of habit I hang my pack from this tree every time and then I usually take the stuff out of my pack and put it down here and I usually like to have something to lay it on and then that's the little drying drying line you saw me make for uh i used to hang my t-shirts because especially in the summertime you, yeah i bring about two or three t-shirts with me because you just sweat out here but it actually hadn't been too bad today and like i said i've been making wanting to make one of these forever so i finally did it it's nice to be able to stand up and kind of wash off a little bit you can see it's it's pretty shaded in here, but I just like to come out and make meals and drink coffee. And I know I don't look, make a whole lot of videos. I really make more uh, pictures and put it on my Instagram than than I do videos. Usually our tents when we come are set up between these two trees and in this flat area right in here simply because if you look up there's there's no widow makers up there it's all good healthy living limbs and then if you walk to the back of the island this year we, when fall gets here we got to make more tools because the ones that we made are they're kind of rotten now tent stakes and uh, batons and stuff like that. They're not really hidden over here and covered up. These are pretty big tent stakes because we've got a uh, canvas tarp, but they feel like they're starting to rot. And this is on the back of the property or the island where it splits. I won't bore you with taking you all the way down there, but the creek runs down 
like I said, it joins actually way down here somewhere. And there's a big um, hole, I guess, you, you deep hole in the creek you could get in if you wanted to and cool off. And then there's one right over here. This is pretty shallow right here. I mean, when the fall, when the when there's more rain, it picks up a little bit, but you can always cross right here. And there's a good area to hike to way back in here. This goes back into the pines and stuff. And there's another area right over here. And that's actually, uh, well, there goes a the trout. I missed him. He went right up through here. He's about 10 inches long. So anyway, this is looking back in the camp. So I'm really excited about fall. It's just, uh, I don't know. It's almost too hot to camp. Uh, when the hum it's the when it's in the 80s, it's not too bad as long as the humidity is not high. But it seems like this month it's been the humidity's been close to 90 every day, 90 percent every day. But anyway, that's the camp. You know, if you guys have seen these uh, MSR filters, but uh, when I did the uh, wood lore course. One of my instructors had one, and uh, really great. I've got this one taken apart because it uh, works just like the Sawyer, same type of filter. So if you're going to, you know, store it for a while, you need to have it where it can dry out. But this is, I mean, it just goes together like this. Normally, I would have put this back together. And you can twist the nozzle to adjust it to your bottle, whatever you want to use. I don't have this lined up right. There we go. Then it has a pre-filter on it. Right there. And it works really well. And just pump it. So everything's buried in here. It goes <clears throat> pretty deep for the bucket and then just pile all the extra bark and everything in on top of it. Alright guys, this is camp all cleaned up. Took the tripod down. Cleaned the fire away. It was right in, I believe, here. 
but you can hardly tell anybody comes in here other than things are starting to get pressed down just a little bit but anyway thanks for coming along and uh and it was a hot one but still better than sitting in the house all right take care guys i'll see you in the next video